Good morning, my dear students. I hope you all are doing fine. Today we will be learning General Science Chapter Six: Solids, Liquids, and Gases. First of all, let's talk about states of matter and particle arrangement. To understand solids, liquids, and gases, first of all, we need to know and understand what is matter. Because everything in this world is matter. What is matter? Anything that takes up space and has mass is called matter. For example, book, chair, table, pencil, pen, duster. They are matter. Matter exists in three states or phases. Number one, solid. Number two, Liquid number three gas. Okay, students, I hope you understood about matter. Now let's talk about molecules. Another term that we need to know and learn is molecules. Molecules are small particles which make up matter. Hmm. Everything around us. Air, water, soil are matter, and these matters are made up of molecules. Okay, intermolecular space. The space or gap between molecules in a matter is called intermolecular space. Students always remember that in solid, the intermolecular space is least. Okay. In solid, the intermolecular space is least. In liquids, the intermolecular space is more. Okay. In liquids, intermolecular space is more. In gases, intermolecular space is most. Now let's talk about particle arrangement. Solids. The molecules are tightly packed. They have strong intermolecular force of attraction. Here, students, I have drawn for you for your better understanding. These small particles are the molecules. In solids, the intermolecular space is least. Okay. So, now comes liquid. Now let's talk about liquid. In liquid, the molecules are loosely packed. Molecules in a liquid can move easily and therefore liquids flow freely. Liquids do not have definite shape and size of their own. For example, water, milk, juice, oil, petrol. Children, do they have definite shape and size of their own? No, they do not have definite shape and size of their own. Here I have drawn for a for better understanding. So these small particles are the molecules and in liquid the intermolecular space are more. Okay, now comes gas. Thank you. 
nature. Mm. Now comes solute. The substance that gets dissolved in the solution is called the solute. Now solvent. The substance that dissolves the solute particles into itself to be a solution is called a solvent. Here I have drawn for you for a better understanding about salt solution. Take a glass of water and add salt. Okay, add salt. Add salt. Then you when the salt is mixed with water, we get a solution. Okay, take a glass of water and add salt. When salt is mixed with water, we get a solution. Okay, so we get here salt solution. Children, here salt is the solute and water is the solvent. I hope you understand about this salt solution. Students, now let's talk about the types of solution. Please try to open your book page number 66. Then you will get the table of the different types of solution. Please watch explanation to most. Listen carefully. Types of solution. Gas in gas. Solid in solid. Gas in a liquid. Gas in gas. Oxygen and other gas. When oxygen and other gases mix with nitrogen, we get air. Solid in solid, when carbon dioxide and iron mixes, we get steam. Gas in a liquid, when carbon dioxide mixes with water, we get soda water. Now comes solubility. Solubility is the ability of a substance to dissolve in another substance at a particular temperature. Solubility depends upon the space or intermolecular space of liquids. Students, now let's talk about solubility. Number one, solids in liquids. When the molecules of the solid occupy the intermolecular spaces in the molecules of a liquid, Mixes with the liquid, such a liquid is said to be soluble in that liquid. For example, salt and example, salt and sugar in water. Salt and sugar are soluble in water. Here, salt and sugar are the solid particles, while water is the solvent. While some solids like sand are insoluble in water. Now, let's talk about liquids in liquids. When two liquids mix with each other completely, they are said to be invisible. They form a homogeneous solution. Here, homogeneous means similar or same. Uh, for example, milk, milk in water. When two liquids do not mix, they are said to be invisible. They form heterogeneous solution. Heterogeneous means different. For example, oil in water. Now comes gases in liquid. Gases in liquid. Some gases can dissolve in water. For example, oxygen dissolves in water. That is why aquatic animals like fish can survive in water. Even carbon dioxide dissolves in water. For example, aerated drinks contain carbon dioxide. Aerated means Coca Cola, Pepsi, Thumbs Up. Drinks contain carbon dioxide. Students, I hope you understood today's lesson. Thank you.